Hi there, welcome to CADLINK for Sage 100. Today, we'll be covering how you can integrate your engineering PDM system with Sage 100 and the benefits of doing so. So let's begin. Let's say I'm a design engineer that has just finished making some design changes to this particular assembly file. I'm now ready to push those design changes over into my Sage 100 BOM, and I will be using CADLINK to do so. CADLINK acts as a add-in to your PDM system. So to launch CADLINK, I would have to right click on the assembly file I want to launch it on and scroll down on this pop-up menu until I see the CADLINK option. From here, I can select a default bomb. CADLINK will now compare the data in the PDM Bill of Materials tab and data cards with the information present in your Sage 100 bombs and items. The result of this live comparison is shown on screen here in this bomb grid list. The different colors represent different results of the live comparison that CADLINK has made between Sage 100 and your PDM system. The first color you'll notice is the white line, which represents components that already exist in your CAD design and already exist in your Sage 100 BOM and items. Upon save, CADLINK will make no changes to white highlighted parts. Green highlighted parts represent new parts that have been added to your CAD design, but do not exist in your Sage 100 BOM or Item Master yet. Upon save, CADLINK will add this new part to your Sage 100 Item Master and add it to the BOM as well. Yellow highlighted fields represent discrepancies that CADLINK has found between your PDM data and your Sage 100 data. I can right click on the yellow highlighted field to see the discrepancy between my PDM and Sage 100 systems. Here I can see that I have a additional portion of a description for the, my PDM, whereas my Sage 100 does not have this portion. I can select which description I would like to use and CADLINK will reflect this change in the field. Alternatively, I can also click on the field and type in my own description as well. Upon save, CADLINK will update this field in both PDM and your Sage 100 bombs. For yellow highlighted quantity fields, I can right click to see the discrepancy, however, I cannot change my quantity field to match my Sage 100. This is because CADLINK always derives a quantity based off the CAD design. Gray highlighted parts represent parts that do not exist in your CAD design, but were found in your Sage 100 bomb. Upon save, CADLINK will delete this item or part from your Sage 100 bomb. If I would like to keep this item, I can simply click on this blue box to the left of the item row and select save as manual part. This will highlight the row blue, representing that it is now considered a manual part. Now upon save, CADLINK will not delete this item or part from your Sage 100 bomb. You can also add a manual part to any level of the bomb you like by simply right-clicking on the blue box to the left of the rows and selecting add manual part. These manual parts will be saved to your Sage 100 bomb upon save and CADLINK, but will not be added to your CAD design. To the left of the screen, you will see that there are different tabs that you can select. The Bill of Materials tab shows the Bill of Materials grid and result of the live comparison that CADLINK has made. The BOM Changes tab will summarize all the changes that CADLINK will make in your Sage 100 
when you hit save. The CAD properties tab shows and displays various information about a specific part that you would find in your PDM system. So for example, I can click on this part and see the data card that I would find in my PDM directly here in CADLINK. This way, I do not have to keep switching between screens to see the data in my PDM system. The CADLINK messages tab will show and display any errors that CADLINK finds when it validates the data against the Sage 100 data rules and regulations. Here, we also have a save checkbox column where I can select manually which components and parts that I would like to save to Sage 100 when I hit the save button in CADLINK. This way, I can send a partial bomb to Sage 100 and skip any components which may have any error messages or are not ready to be pushed to Sage 100 yet. CADLINK is a powerful tool built by engineers for engineers to replace manual data entry with the click of a button. You will get time back in your day for more interesting and valuable work like new designs and projects. With all the benefits to engineering, purchasing, and production, CADLINK is a no-brainer for manufacturers using CAD with Sage 100.